Previously in the book of Proverbs, I explained verse 6, and now I'll be explaining verse 7. The memory of the righteous is blessed, but the name of the wicked will rot. So both the just and the wicked, when their days are fulfilled, must die. Between their bodies in the grave, you are no visible difference. Between the souls of the one and the other in the world of spirits, you are a vast difference. And so there is, or ought to be, between their memories which survive them. Good men are and ought to be well spoken of when they are gone. It is one of the blessings that comes upon the head of the just, even when their head is laid. Blessed men leave behind them blessed memories. It is part of the dignity of the saints, especially those who excel in virtue and are eminently useful, that they are remembered with respect when they are dead. Their good name, their name with good men for good things, is then in a special manner as precious ointment. Those that honor God he will thus honor. The elders by faith obtained a good report, and being dead are yet spoken of. So it is part of the duty of the survivors, let the memory of the just be blessed, so the Jews read it, and observe it as a precept, not naming an eminently just man that is dead without adding, let his memory be blessed. We must delight in making an honorable mention of good men that are gone. Bless God for them, and for his gifts and graces that appeared in them, and especially be followers of them in that which is good. But bad men are and shall be forgotten, or spoken of with contempt. When their bodies are putrefying in the grave, their names also shall rot. Either they shall not be preserved at all, but buried in oblivion. No good can be said of them, and therefore the greatest kindness that can be done them will be to say nothing of them. Or they shall be loathsome, and mentioned with detestation. Like Hitler, we still talk about him, though he was dead and evil, we still talk about him with detestation, at least for many of us. And that rule of honor, De mortis nil nisi bonum, say nothing to the disadvantage of the dead, will not protect them. Where the wickedness has been notorious, and cannot but be mentioned, it ought to be mentioned with abhorrence. So there are many wicked dead people today that we still talk about, but we talk about them, at least for many of us, with a detestation, with a disgust. So don't be one of them. The best thing you can do is just to live for God. Anyone who says anything else afterwards really doesn't matter. You're already in the kingdom. Focus on that.